<laughs> hey YouTube, this is Sonny from Plain English and today we're going to learn how to count in binary. Binary, as you may be aware, is a system made up of two unique symbols, zero and one. Now this concept of a two symbol system is something that we can refer to as a binary counting system or a base two system. Another counting system that we may be more familiar with is called decimal. The decimal counting system or a base 10 system is called this because it is made up of 10 unique symbols, the numbers zero through nine. Now for the most part, we already know how to count in a base 10 system because we get taught this from an early age. So it's so ingrained in you know everything around us. For example, if we had the number nine and we wanted to increase that number by one, we know that nine becomes 10. Now, 10 is not actually a unique symbol but is made up of two symbols, one and zero. Now, just like how we can count up to any conceivable number in the decimal system, we can actually do the same with a binary system. As an aside, there are actually many other counting systems or base systems. I initially wrote a bunch of content regarding these other base systems and the theory behind how each one works, but I said I was going to teach you how to count in binary, so let's just stick with that and we'll cover all of the other stuff in another video. If we begin with the number zero, and we want to increase that by one, that zero becomes a one. That bit's fine. We've got two symbols and they do their job perfectly in this situation. But then we've got a one and we want to increase that by one, making two. Now, of course, we don't have a symbol for two, so we need a way to represent it. So the one in this case ticks over and becomes a zero. How do we differentiate that zero between a regular zero? We do so by putting a one on the left of it. So we now have what visually looks like one zero, but in binary, that actually means two. Okay, so now we've got the number two in binary. How do we increase that by one to make three? Well, we take the zero on the right hand side and we increase that by one. So now we've got one one, which in binary represents the number three. How do we increase that to four? Well, we've got one one. So we do the same thing that we did before. We tick them over, they both become zeros. How do we differentiate double zero from just I don't know, two regular zeros, we put a one on the left of it. So now we have one zero zero, which in binary represents the number four. Hopefully this is starting to make some sense now. So if we wanted to make the number five, we can just increase the zero on the right hand side to one, which will give us one zero one. Now this is all well and good. So you know, hopefully now how to, uh, start with the number zero and keep increasing it. But let's say somebody just very quickly shows you uh, a number in binary, a long number, and you want to figure out what that number is. Now you could just sit there and just keep increasing numbers from zero until you match that number. But of course that's going to be very long-winded, but there is a shortcut that we can take. And it's the same shortcut that we use in the decimal system. It's probably overlooked because we're so used to doing this, but it's the same process and we can use it in binary. Let's take a look at a practical example. Let's imagine that we have two numbers. The first one is written in binary and the second number is written in decimal. Now the first number on the right hand side is a unit of one. And what we mean by that is it's eight, but it's eight lots of one. It's also the same in the binary system. Now in the decimal system, as we go left with numbers, they increase by powers of 10, hence the name base 10, decimal, and so on. And what we mean by that is the number here is times 10 of whatever this was. So this is 10. Now we can verify that because think about it, six, lots of 10 equals 60, eight lots of one equal eight, which creates 68. And you know, you can imagine if we just keep going right here, increasing by powers of 10, we end up with a hundred and a thousand and so on. And if we put some numbers in, it gives us 1,268 because we have two lots of a hundred and one lot of a thousand. 
Now in the binary system, it uses that same process. However, because it's binary base two, it increases by powers of two. What effectively that means is that each number on the left is a representation of double whatever the unit on the right was. So double of one gives us two, double of two gives us four, double of four gives us eight, and double of eight gives us 16. And we could just keep continuing if we wanted to, and it would work in the same way. So what is this number here? Well, we can just work it out in the same way. We could look at this, we need a 16, we don't need an eight, we need a four, we need a two, and we need a one. So what does that give us? 16 plus four plus two plus one. And that gives us 23. And there we have it. So hopefully you now know how to count in binary. The next thing to do is to test yourself. So I'd like you to take the day of the month that you were born and figure out how to write that in binary. For example, I was born on the 27th. This is how you would write 27 in binary. Thank you for watching and don't forget to continue to learn everything.